Hey everyone, today we're taking on a super creative DIY challenge, turning an old light bulb into a mini welding machine with just a few simple materials. I'll guide you through each step to create this unique homemade welder. It's budget friendly, fun, and perfect for anyone who loves experimenting and building cool gadgets at home. Let's dive right in and see how recycling can turn into something awesome. This old light bulb stopped working a long time ago and has just been lying around collecting dust. But today, instead of throw it away, I've decided to breathe new life into it by converting into a small welding machine. With just a few easy to find materials and some creativity, we can turn junk into something both fun and functional. First, I'll start by disassembling the broken LED bulb. Gently separate the plastic casing to expose the internal components without damaging any of the parts inside. The internal circuit is completely damaged and none of the LED chips are functioning anymore. So, I'll take them out and throw them away, keeping just a frame, which will serve as the base for our DIY welding machine. It's not that easy to remove, so I'll have to apply a bit of pressure, and be careful not to damage the frame while taking it apart. This DIY welding machine may look simple, but it's actually a clever little tool. By reusing an old LED bulb and a few basic components, we can create a compact soldering or spot welding device that's perfect for small projects or quick repairs. There's a hole in the bulb socket that's perfect for mounting the soldering tip. I need to carefully enlarge this hole so that the bolt can fit in snugly. This will help secure the soldering tip firmly in place later on. Now I'll use a drill to carefully widen the hole until it matches the diameter of the bolt. This way, the bolt will fit snugly and stay firmly in place during use. Next, I'll carefully drill a hole in the plastic cover. This hole will allow me to pass the wires through and connect them to the internal components. All right, now it's time to work on the wires. Strip about one centimeter of insulation off the end of each wire to expose the copper strands. Be careful not to cut the wires themselves. You can adjust the temperature yourself by changing the wiring or adding a resistor. It's super flexible for small welding tasks. Since this is a mini welding machine, thick electrical wires aren't necessary. I'll use this type of wire and it will work just fine. The key is to secure the connections and properly insulate the contact points to prevent electrical leakage. Now I'm going to attach one end of the wire to the bolt, making sure it's securely fastened.
Then I'll insert the bolt into the hole we drilled earlier, positioning it firmly in place inside the bulb. I'll screw the nut onto the bolt and tighten it securely. This will lock the bolt in place and ensure it stays firmly attached while we're using the welding machine. While this terminal block is typically used for joining wires, in this project, I'm going to repurpose it to secure the soldering tip onto the bolt. This makes the connection firm and easy to adjust if needed. The bolt's diameter is too large of the terminal blocks hole so I'll carefully grind it down until it fits snugly. Watch the video until the end and let me know which method you like the most. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. This way, the soldering tip will be held firmly in place without any looseness. I'm going to attach one end of the wire to a battery clamp, which will make it easier to connect and disconnect from the power supply. These are old batteries. I'll repurpose the graphite rod from old batteries to make the soldering tip. Graphite is a good conductor of electricity and has a high melting point, making it a great choice for this project. Now, Let's disassemble the battery to extract the graphite rod inside.
I'll sharpen one end to improve the welding contact point. Now I'm going to insert this battery core into the terminal block. It will act as a soldering tip for our homemade welding machine. I need one more wire, with both ends connected to two battery clamps. The battery clamp allow for quick connections, easy installation and adjustments if needed. This clamp terminal is usually designed with a spring clip or screw tightening mechanism, making it easy to attach and remove without complex tools. Now, let's prepare a motorcycle battery. It has a voltage of 12V, which is enough to power this welding machine. Connect the red wire to the positive terminal and the blue wire to the negative terminal. Now, I'm going to use a spot welder to weld these two razor blades together. Before welding, I'll preheat the soldering tip.
by welding them. I can create a stronger and more stable connection between the blades, which will be used as part of the welding tip. I'll carefully align them and apply just enough heat to bond them securely without damaging the blades. Let's test it with aluminum foil. It's super hot. Wow, it works so well. It heats up quickly, creates clean welds, and operates smoothly without any interruptions. A total success. After testing it with razor blades, the results exceeded expectations. Fast and strong welding, a well-deserved success. What do you guys think? Do you like this idea? Don't forget to leave a comment and share your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.